Babylona Records is uh, the label that me and my friends um, built and I want to say the early 90s, uh, probably around 95, 93 is when it really started. Uh, my homie Search, who did a lot of the production for the E Times 2 crew, um, did a few releases on his own and then he brought on E Times 2, which is one of the crews I'm down with. And uh, we built the whole legacy and a lot of our discography from that point on. Pushing CDs, vinyl, and uh, doing shows, and you know, a lot of the stuff that you see around you. Yeah, so this is uh, one of our first projects. And again, you know, this is about the artwork and the quality that goes behind the music. And uh, this is an e top 2 album called Elemental Work, you know. Early 20s, late teens with the group there. And here we are, all these years later. We have a label, the, the website is abolanorecords.com, A B O L A N O records.com. You can check it out, you know, there's uh, music to purchase, digitally, physical. But uh, yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, for new upcoming rappers, I would say, um, you know, try to do, you know, what what makes you feel good about music. You know, follow follow your heart with music and don't follow the trend. And uh, focus on your craft. Be serious about your craft. And what I mean by be serious is a lot of sacrifice. You know, blood, sweat, and tears. It takes hard work no matter what you do. So if you decide to do music, you know, you got to get out in the street. That's where you're really going to get credibility as an artist, not online. At least not amongst the, the veterans and the heavyweights. You know, if you're just an internet MC, well, then you're just an internet MC. You know, and I think it's important to be able to connect with fans and keep keep what's uh, sacred, you know, uh, alive and, and have a good pulse. And that's the real, the real way you build, you know, a following. There's a lot of rappers online right now, a lot of MCs that, you know, they could post a picture of their breakfast and get like 500 likes and uh, they could purchase a lot of views or brag about how many views they have on a video. And uh, that really doesn't translate when you're on the road and when you're on tour. It doesn't, you know, n numbers don't lie, right? But words paint the picture. And I think it's important that while we're a society that's driven by numbers, that you keep that in perspective. But a lot of those internet MCs can't do what we do. They can't get on a microphone and have presence like we do. Or maybe they could, but they can't get a show with, uh, you know, the same amount of likes they have. And even through that, if you're gonna do this hip hop shit, it's just like life. It's a lifestyle, there's ups and downs. So no matter how you start out and thrive and pay all those dues, that's exactly what you should be doing as a young MC or upcoming artist. It's when you've done it for 10 and 15 years and 20 years and you've seen the good, bad and ugly of this hip hop shit, this music shit, that really determines what kind of artist you are. If you have the wherewithal to do what we've done that's when you have the credibility that's when you you can look back and say you know this that and the other but a lot of young MCs these days you know they're all gassed up new booties so uh, you know take those words and uh, process them and understand what it takes to be a real artist